Hi there, my name is Dave, and I'm here to teach you all the basic stuff to successfully make an animation in Sony Vegas. If you were expecting a video like made by action, please click the close button on your browser window, because this is a tutorial, and I made this for the people who always wanted to make an animation themselves. So if you are one of the people that always wanted to make an animation, or even start your own series, then this is your lucky day. I hope you're in an animating mood, because here we go. Okay, so what shall we make for this very first tutorial? Hmm, I know, how about the very first animation I ever made? I think that should be most suitable for this tutorial. I believe we all remember my Patrick intro of my first Maple Action movie. <laughs> yeah, that one. When I started learning animating, I gave myself a practice assignment. So I was like, hmm, what is easy to begin with? After long thinking, I made a silly idea to make a little guy walks in like nothing is going to happen, and then holy shit, the tech flies in and smashes his head off. It's easy, short, and funny, and it's really good start to get into animating. Alright, let's see what we'll talk about in this tutorial. Well, obviously we all want to know what software I'm using. Important thing to explain is about organizing your files in useful folders. Mostly people just make a whole mess of their hard disk and we don't want that. I will give a small introduction to Band Story and also to Hypercam. Then I will show you how to record the animations of Band Story with Hypercam. And then we will get to business in Sony Vegas. Where we will add the background, the music and the recorded animations. And there I will give you a little guiding tour through Sony Vegas. And finally we will reanimate the clip. Ok, so whenever you start a new animation, it's always very important to keep your stuff organized. So find a good place in your hard disk and give it a good suitable name. I called my folder Movie Maintenance. It was the first thing that came up to me and I just left it like that. As you can see, I save all my projects in here, including my sounds and sprites. But you can also place those somewhere else, I don't really care actually. Anyways, create a new folder for your new projects. Let's call it Dave's Tutorials, or whatever you like, as long as you can find everything back easily. That's why we are doing this. Ok, so when you're inside the project folder, let's make another folder and call it Tutorial 1, just to keep it organized for the other tutorials that will come. Alright, so now we are in the Tutorial 1 folder, we need to think of the things you are going to need for the animation. And then you make separate folders for all these things to keep it all organized. Well, I'll just make it easy for you, and this is what we will need. Background, music, sound effects, characters, and special effects. Nice, that looks pretty organized to me. Now we won't waste any time searching through hundreds of folders to look for the right file you need. Let's move on to the software. As I always mentioned in every video I made, the software I use to make my videos are Sony Vegas, Hypercam, Planet Story, Photoshop, and Particle Illusion. But we will discuss Photoshop and Particle Illusion later. We will only need Sony Vegas, Hypercam and Ben Story for this animation. So now we will go to our best friend on the internet. And his name is Google. Type in Sony Vegas and oh my gosh, there is the Sony Vegas website. Easy as ketchup on a sandwich. Download the latest version. Yes, you actually gotta pay for this so it will be a demo. But I'm not here to get you free stuff. Alright, download, install, blah blah blah, you know the drill. Same thing for Hypercam. Go to Google again and type in Hypercam. And there we go, let's click the top one and download this sucker to your computer. When also a Hypercam is ready to use, then it will leave us to the last one, Bandit Story. But guess what, Bandit Story is also available online at maplesimulator.com. Lucky us, that means we are ready to go. Ok, I'll begin with Bandit Story. For the people who doesn't know yet, Band Story is a creation tool for MapleStory. Band Story allows you to create animated characters, monsters, pets, effects, skills, and even more. Now these days, they even have a map maker to save maps seen in MapleStory to use as backgrounds for your animation. In my days of animating, I always used Band Story 3. So to be honest, Band Story 4 is pretty new for me. But it's better to stick with the latest version, so we will use Band Story 4. Alright, let's click Band Story 4 and start it. I don't think it really matters which client we use, I guess Japan is fine. Let's see the categories. Hmm. Well we only need to animate a character, so we don't need the rest of the other categories. That will only take more time to load. So let's press start. 
it will take a few seconds to load and there we have it. Okay, let's start off with creating a new layer by pressing this button on the layer pad. Now we go to window and choose thumbnail gallery and press the plus of the character items. Alright, now we can create Patrick. Here we go. So when Patrick is all dressed up, we can animate him. Here at the bottom there's an animate button. If you press it, the selected character in the layer panel will move, depending on what state the character currently is. The currently state is now standing 1, and as you can see that's what he's doing right now. But I want to make him walk, so I'm going to change the state into walking 1. And now he's walking. The last thing I want is to give him an expression. In the pet intros he always walks in with a smile on his face. So... Let's put a smile on that face. Oh god, that that was awful. <clears throat> Apologize. Where was I? Alright, a smile. Okay, let's look at face states. And hey, there we have the smile. Congratulations, your character is now ready to use. But how are we getting this animation in Sony Vegas? Well, dear sir, Hypercam is the solution for this. Let me explain a bit more about Hypercam. Hypercam is a screencasting program that captures actions from your computer screen and saves it to an EVI movie file. It can also record sounds, but we don't need that. And this will be the program to record our character movement. Let's go through the settings of Hypercam first. Screen area is important. That's the size and place of the screen where Hypercam will record. Change start X and Y to 400. The width gotta be 356 and the height 200. The rest is good. At the hotkeys you can see the hotkeys to start, stop and pause. I just leave it like this. You can change it if you want, but that's your own choice. EVI files is important too. By clicking browse for file name, you can change the place the recorded files will be saved. Make sure to save the files to a good folder where you can find them back easily. Frames per second are currently 10. I think that's a bit too few. I changed that to 20. It's better to set the frames per second as high as possible for the perfect quality of the animation. But be careful, if you set the frames per second too high, it could cause Hypercam to crash. It depends on your CPU. If your CPU can't handle the amount of frames per second, it will make Hypercam crash. So, for the people who has a cheapy CPU, it's better to keep it on 10. You can experiment yourself to see which frames per second fits best. Moving on to frame compression quality. Definitely change that to 100%. Best quality is all we want. At sound, uncheck the record sound box, because that's kinda useless for us. At options, uncheck the record cursor box. That will make a sound every time you click your mouse. And we don't need that. And everything is fine now, so ignore the rest. Now Hypercam is set up correctly, it's time to record the animation and banner story. But first, I want you to make a background color, and this color has to be a color that doesn't relate with the colors of the character. So what I mean is that if your character uses a lot of green colors, it's better to use a blue background. But if it has many blue colors, it's better to use a green background. As you look at Patrick, you can tell that it has more green colors than blue. So we take a blue background by adding another layer in the layer panel and change the background color to blue. I will explain later why we need this background color. Okay, put your character in position. Let's place him in the center of your computer screen and press the hotkey to make Hypercam start recording. So I press F2. Now you wait 8 or 10 seconds and after that you press the same hotkey again and it stops recording. Now Hypercam has stopped recording, it has automatically saved the recorded EVI file to the destination folder you have chosen. Now go to that folder and find your EVI file. If you found it, click the file and press Ctrl X. Now go to your project folder and go into your character folder. When you're inside the character folder, press Ctrl V. This will cut the EVI file in your Hypercam folder and paste it to the character folder. Last thing to do is renaming the file. I always rename it like walking plus F2. Because F2 stands for the smiling hotkey in Maple Story. But you can also call it walking plus smile if that makes more sense to you. Awesome, now we got our first animation file ready to use for Sony Vegas. But before we will start with Sony Vegas, let's find our background. 